I felt graphic design was exciting and you got really good projects and I learned a lot which has really helped me like with marketing my artwork. It has given me a lot of good tools and made me look at art in a different way and it's, it's very useful in terms of layout, colour over colour. When I actually graduated and tried placements, it just didn't seem to fit in painting and drawing was something that I've, I've just always had a, 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 an interest in. I felt that I'd kind of abandoned that at university. So to kind of rekindle that, it was like a snowball effect. I've not really given graphic design much thought since. I sent this wall up um, just when I started this new painting. It's manifesting, it's growing. Like I've got a lot of stuff in my sketchbooks. It's good to kind of maybe open them now and again to get like a like a rekindle an idea or something. But I think to have it like right in front of you is also good. Recently I've been looking at colour, the psychology of different colours and like their relationship with each other, its effect on different people. Colour is a huge part of like my main focus. Obviously like figures and portraits is like my the, the kind of subject that I work with, but in terms of like what I'm inspired by right now, I think colour plays a huge part and it's it's um, people's reactions to it, whether it be positive or negative, and kind of try and turn it on its head. This is a place where I've come to work. I've kind of customised it to, to my own personality, so mentally it's, it's good to, to kind of go to a place to work and then at the end of a session, like, cause I, like just shut the door on it and take a breather, take a break, refresh, come back to it with new eyes and I think it's, it's good to get a balance. It's, it's nice to get like a lot more time to kind of reflect on it and see where it's going. I'm enjoying the whole unpredictability of it.